Welcome back guys, this video is one year in the making, so I am going to share my experience with Anki over the last year. I am two weeks into the second year into the GI block and I've been using Anki from day one of this last year of medical school. And for those of you guys that have been watching my, video, my videos, you guys know I talk a lot about Anki and doing flashcards. For those of you that don't know, Anki is basically a flashcard app. It has integrated algorithms based on how well you remember a card and spaces it out accordingly. It's super customizable so you can put it, you can space these cards out less or more based on how well you remember them. But I'm not going to go into that, I'm just going to share with you guys my experience today and I'm going to give you guys some really useful resources if you're interested in starting Anki. So a few days ago I posted a poll on my community channel and you guys asking you guys how many flashcards do you guys think I did and I'm gonna put the poll up right now and I'm sorry I let, I let you guys down I have done less than 150,000 but I have done as of today right now recording this video I have done 138,484 reviews so that is 138,500 ish cars that I have done over the last year uh, I have an average around 422 cards a day and I have spent 464 hours on this app. So the way that time is calculated is from the time I see the front of a card to the time I hit spacebar to reveal the answer. So just based on that, I can tell you I have spent two, three times more than that reading it afterwards, doing some research afterwards, clicking on certain topics based on my annals that help me study. So let's get into it. So, if you guys watch any other big med school YouTubers like Dr. Jabal from Med School Insiders, he used Anki to do really well in medical school and also perform really well on the step. Uh, and then my number one resource for Anki is the Anki team. I'm going to put their YouTube channel in the description. They are your number one resource for any Anki medical school related questions. I would definitely check them out after this video. So how do I use Anki in medical school? So I front load my week really hard and it kind of sucks. My Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday kind of suck. So what I do is either Sunday or Monday, depending on when I have time, is I, is I go through all the week's material and I activate cards based on the professor's lectures. And then I start doing them right then and there, sometimes without really knowing the material. And Anki is a remembering tool, guys, not a learning tool. But I'm going to show you guys how I use it as a learning tool using some of the add-ons that I use. So a better way to do this is to watch a video like a Boards and Beyond and then activate the cards right afterwards and do them right after, right away. I feel like that would be very efficient. It's not what I do, but just a suggestion I think that might be more efficient. I'm not going to do it, but I think it'll probably be a better, better way to do it. Um, so I do all of my reviews every single day guys so like I said I do around 422 every day I am still getting flashcards from week one of medical school from clinical morphology I don't deactivate any of those cards so I have been seeing these cards over and over and over and over and this is because I've gone into this I have gone all in into this idea of space repetition of seeing something over and over practicing remembering recall so that whenever I see it on test day in step, I will recall something about it. And that goes into my next point. So I actually was a pretty horrible test taker, guys. Uh, I've always been a pretty horrible test taker, I'm going to say. But Anki has given me this confidence that when I'm taking a quiz or doing a test in medical school, I feel like I have seen this material before and I can answer this question correctly because I have seen it. And that is something I've never felt before. So that's, I don't know, let's call it the Anki effect or something, but it feels really good for me. I really enjoyed it, and that's why I'm going to keep using it. So another thing on top of this is I do keep a running list of topics I'm weak on on a Word document. I'll show you guys here. I'll probably just put it up on the screen. There you guys, these are topics that I feel weak in that I'm going to revisit later, and I just don't feel like I have the time right now or I don't want to do it right now just because I want to do something else or get these cards done or whatever. All right, let's get into my add-ons. All right, guys, my favorite add-on that I like to use is Amboss. So this add-on came out around October of last year, and basically that it picks up certain words in your cards, and it will literally pull up a learning card. It'll pull up a quick summary 
of what that enzyme does or what that pathology is or what that drug is or does. And it's just a quick summary there and that really helps me if I'm learning the card, like I can just hover over it and then see what it does. Um, and this is the way that I can use it as a learning card. And then if you want more information, you can actually click on that and it'll take you to their website and to their learning cards and uh, their whole medical school library of learning cards and practice questions. So that is literally my favorite add-on. I only started using it in October and I don't think I could go back to not using it. Uh, my last week of CVPR, my Amboss account ran out and I literally just paid the $10 for that month to just have the Amboss add-on. I didn't do any practice questions. I hardly looked at their learning cards, but I just needed it for my Anki. Uh, and I reached out to them and they are, they have accepted me into one of the programs, so I get their stuff free. So I'm excited to show you guys some of that in the future, but this isn't sponsored or anything. I'm just letting you guys know that I really like that. My second favorite is Glutanimate's Review Heat Map. So if you guys look at the bottom of my screen, you guys will see that map of the dark, of the different shades of green. So basically, that shows you how many reviews you've done that day, how many reviews you have the next day. It doesn't count the new cards you have to do, but it definitely helps you. It helps me with that visual motivation of don't break your streak. I broke my streak between CBPR and this block and it broke my heart. It was almost worse than a breakup, guys. But that motivation to just keep that streak going feels awesome. I love that add-on. <coughs> and make sure you look up Glutanimate's review heat map because there is a copier somewhere out there and they should not get credit for stealing his idea. All right, I have another one. So if you guys look on the screen, I have this add-on called True Retention, which is basically rendered null by my other favorite add-on that is called Rescheduler. Uh, you guys will see it here. So what I can do is towards the end of a block, whenever these cards based on how I remember them, if it tries to push them farther out past my test date, I don't let it. I can just reschedule it to a, the week before my test and it's probably, it just gives me a feeling of safety that I'm gonna see this card one more time before my test. And yeah, those weeks leading up to the test, it takes a lot more time being on that Anki add-on just because I am rescheduling a lot of those cards and that basically renders some of my stats null because even if I reschedule it for the next day, like I forgot it, and I just start reschedule it for the next day, it won't add. It won't put it as uh, like learning again. So I kind of screwed that up, but I really like the add-on, and I'm gonna keep using it that way. Another add-on I forgot to mention previously in the video is Hoochie Mama's Random Review Queue. So I recently started using this add-on not too long ago, and I love it, guys. So it basically randomizes your reviews. Anki likes to go deck by deck. Um, because we have so many decks, it'll just go deck by deck um, in the order of topic. But with Hoochie Mama, it, it jumps from like CDPR to GI to Neuro to Pharmacology. Um, and making your brain jump around like that helps you make better connections with the material and keep your brain on edge. So sometimes like, you know, because in step, you're gonna get the question in random order. It's not gonna be all the CVPR, all the GI. They're gonna be in random order, so this really helps prime your brain for that idea. And then, of course, there's some other really cool add-on that some of my friends use, like Pokemon Key, where it's just like Pokemon, and it levels your Pokemon up, which is really cool. I haven't, I haven't used it, but it does sound like a really fun one. Um, so, yeah, those are the add-ons I like to use. It's pretty simple, pretty basic. Let me know down below if you guys have any other add-ons that you guys use for Anki and I might try them out and share them in the future. Alright, I'm also going to share with you guys one of my turbo learning methods is what I call for Anki. So, or maybe I should do this into another video. I don't know, I'm going to put this in here and then I'm going to make another video later. So if you see it here, you don't have to watch the other video. But basically my turbo learning method is Anki. Is some weeks, if I miss a lecture, uh, like the week whenever I activate all the cards, if I miss if I don't activate those cards and I have the test coming up and I need to remember them super fast. I get this question from a lot of people, how do you memorize them quickly? So basically what I do is the night before, so not the night before the test, so if I, if I do this like Thursday or Friday or whatever, so Thursday night, I will activate those cards and do them right then and there guys, in bed, right before I go to sleep. After I'm done with them, I do not use my phone, I go straight to sleep. 
in the morning, the first thing you do when you wake up without eating breakfast or getting up for coffee, I guess you gotta get coffee. Don't look at your phone, because that's gonna jumble up your mind. Do those cards right away again. And this, like, sleep in between the space repetition has helped me so much. I haven't done this for a huge amount of cards, but I've done it for about uh, less than 100, and it has worked really well. I can learn cards really quickly that way, that day, that way, in an emergency. So try it out and let me know if it works for you. Um, it's worked for me really well, so I don't know. Just let me know. A few pros and cons. So the pros is that I like to use pre-made de pre decks, guys. There's a lot of pre-made decks on Reddit. A lot of medical students use it, the On King. I would use a pre-made deck. I don't like to make my cards. I think that's a big con is the time spent making cards for certain topics in medical school that my professors don't test that are in first aid or sketchy or boards and beyond. And that's a big con that making my own flashcards. I hate making my own flashcards. Cons is it's flashcards. If you hate flashcards, I used to hate flashcards, guys, but I really like them now. So I would definitely urge you guys to give Anki a try. And on that con train is there's, a, I would say there's a steep learning curve at the beginning to learn how to use Anki, just because it's kind of overwhelming. There's so many things. So give it a try, guys. Give it like a week, two weeks. Like really try to learn it. Uh, go watch On King's video. He has a lot of really good informational videos on how to use it. And once you get past that, you're gonna love it. Uh, I really loved it, and I really like to do my cards every single day. It gives me a really, it gives me a goal to finish every day, which I think is why what I've liked about it. Like, if I had a really bad study day, at least I finished my cards for that day, and I got something done. One goal was finished. So I really like that. Uh, another pro is that you can you can have it synced to your phone and you can do this while you're commuting you can do it at the gym a lot of my friends do this I specifically I strictly do it on my computer I don't do it anywhere else but I do know some people that do it um, and then you can customize it so it's very customizable the intervals of how far you want a card to be pushed out my maximum is four months 120 days uh, the On King put his at three months, which is having me reconsider maybe putting mine for three months, but I'm not sure yet. I need to watch some more some more of his videos and make that decision. But then you can also do your graduating interview intervals by how you feel on it and if it's good or bad. Oh, another really good tip, guys, that I forgot to mention previously is do not check the button that says bury related cards. So I noticed that, so I tried this for a week. I put bury related cards, but... For certain cars like avascular necrosis, there's a really good car that has a bunch of different, um, like just so many different closes. And if you just get one right, it's not going to show you the rest of them. But I really, I, I felt that the extra practice, like yeah, doing that card 10, 20 times at the beginning really sucked. But then after a while, you remember them all so much better and you can just skip through them so much, so much faster. But then if you don't do it, whenever you see the new one, it's it really doesn't work. It didn't really work for me. Uh, just a quick tip based on personal preference, and yeah. And then if you guys are feeling like you cannot get through that day, you don't have the mental capacity to get through it, if you have so many rat cards to review, just start deck by deck, guys. You know, you don't have to do the whole overarching deck. It's kind of what I try to do, but on days where I just don't have the mental capacity, I will just go straight into the biochem deck and start doing those cards because I know what to expect. My, I just put my brain into biochem mode and yeah, it's not the, the random reviews and sometimes you just need to get through those cards. Um, so don't beat yourself up for that. We all have those days. So definitely use that to your advantage. As long as you get them done, just be happy with, with getting that goal done. That's, that's how I use Anki. All right, to close this video off, guys, so I love Anki. I'm going to keep using it, and I'm going to do another video of this once I, after I take step and give you guys some more tips, some more ideas, a better way to use it, whatever. The biggest point is that there is a learning curve to start it. Uh, you got to do your reviews every single day, but after that, it feels really, really good to get one goal done for the day and use pre-made decks. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Bye. Suck me in the smoke, breathe me in and let me go Filling the lungs inside you And the black and eyes make my way into your mind Just to know what you knew Christmas I